Have you ever taken a look at your designs, your UI design specifically, and thought, what the hell am I doing? Yes, I do. Inconsistent spacing, things don't look aligned, but you can't seem to figure out what the actual problem is. Let me tell you, the solution is so simple. In this all-in-one spacing masterclass for UI designers, I'm gonna teach you the four-point grid system. So the entire concept and the entire premise around the four-point grid system is that whenever you are creating space between any element, it should be divisible by four. So with my eyes closed, I am going to recite to you the four-point grid system. So it's either going to be four, eight, 16, sorry, take that back, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, 44, 48, 52, 56, 60, and just increments of four. It's that simple. So let's take a look at three different designs that I've done, and I'm gonna show you how you can utilize this practically. So over here, you can see that we have two mobile screens. So if I go ahead and select the top component, which is the overview components, over on the right-hand side, because I'm using auto layout in Figma, I can go ahead and create space in between all the elements inside. So you can see that right now it's eight pixels. It could be 12 pixels, it could be 16 pixels, but you can see that for some odd reason, as you start to increase that spacing from eight to 16, it just looks a little bit off, as you can see. So if we go back and turn it back to eight pixels, the reason why it looks a little bit better at eight pixel is because if you go ahead and look at the proximity of this design, this entire box, on the outside, we have created spacing for 16 pixels, right? So it's divisible by four. So on the uh, left and right, in the top and bottom, you can see that there is 16 pixels. So any elements on the inside it has to have less spacing than the container element, okay? So once you go to, let's just make it 16, it looks a little bit weird because we've created the bounding space of this container to be 16 already. So for the elements inside, it has to feel closer together to feel like they are a relevant group. So if we use 12, looks a little bit better. If we use eight, looks even better. And let's just take a look at four. Might even look the best. So as you can see, utilizing the four point grid system first keeps all your measurements very consistent. It's scalable and it's easy for developers to actually understand what sort of spacing we're gonna be using. Now, if you want to learn more about auto layouts, more advanced techniques, learn my end-to-end -end process for how to manage an entire project all within Figma with industry leading tips and tricks, then make sure to check out my Figma Masterclass course. I can't cover everything in YouTube videos. So make sure to check out the link. There's a 10% off coupon code. But with that said, let's continue with this tutorial. So let's go ahead and take a look at another group. As you can see, we have a component over here where we have a welcome banner. And you can see on the left and right, there is 16 pixel padding on the left and right, as you can see right there. And then we have four pixels on the top and bottom. So throughout all my designs, I am always consistently using the four point grid system. Let's go ahead and take a look at this container of all these crypto coins. As you can see, this is the, the uh, parent container. If I double click into one of the elements, which is the, the coin listing, you can see that there is 12 pixels, right? In between elements, padding 16 pixels on the left and right, and then eight pixels on the top and bottom. So if I double click into that component, you can see that we have 20 pixels between those groups inside. As you can see, we are always using measurements that are divisible by four. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at another design over here. So this is another design that I've done and it's a web app, so it's not mobile, it's also for desktop. So as you can see, everything is divisible by four. So if I go ahead and select the actual header itself, you can see we have 32 pixels on the left and right, so that's divisible by four. And then we on the top and bottom, we also have 16 pixels. Now if I double click into the component that contains the logo, a toggle and the search icon, you can see that there is 12 pixels right between all the components. 
On the right hand side, you can see that we have 20 pixels between all the components. As you can see, remember, the parent container has 32 pixels on the left and right. So anything in between needs to be below 32 pixels. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one over here, the hero section. We have 32 pixels on the left and right. And if I go into the uh, left container over here, you can see that we have 24 pixels between all the components. So we go from 32 down to 24. And then if we go even a level deeper, you should be able to see that inside the input, we have spacings of 20. So once again, starting with a broad measurement, going down, down further, and always keeping it divisible by four is going to help you create really consistent UI designs. So let's go ahead and take a look at one more example. So here we have the search listings, a page that's dedicated to accommodation for listings, right? Or listings for accommodation, sorry. So let's take a look at the, the sidebar, for example. Here we have a sidebar, as you can see, we have 20 pixels on the left and right and the top and bottom, right? Just over here. Then if I double click into the actual container, we have 40 pixels in between each section. Now here you might be saying, is go that doesn't really follow the rule but remember because we are working within this container we are now trying to create separation right we are actually not trying to make all these elements feel like they are in one group we are actually trying to tell visually communicate visually that this sidebar is all relevant to each other but all these blocks these separate blocks as you can see in here they are not relevant to each other so that's why we are actually creating more space in between Okay, but then when we dive a little bit deeper into each block, as you can see over here, we went from 20 on the left and right to 12 between the title and the import. And then as you can see over here, we have 12. And then if I double click onto the title, the title only has eight. So we started off at 20, then we went into 12, then we went into eight. And that is how you create systematic spacing between all your designs. And that's how you can keep all your UI designs very consistent. It doesn't matter if it's for mobile, it doesn't matter if it's for web, it will always work. So throughout all these designs, I've actually utilized the four point grid system. And as you can see, it's very consistent and it always tends to make your designs look beautiful. Now, if you're looking for tools to help you manage your tokens for more advanced designers, I would definitely recommend the Figma plugin Token Studio, which allows you to create systematic spacing or tokens, if you will, to manage different types of spacing throughout your UI designs. Now, if you're looking for project management tools, I would definitely recommend Zeppelin to help you manage the entire project from grid layouts to design systems to all the project files and pages for developers and if you're looking for something a little bit more specific on the design system side i definitely recommend zero height and also storybook.js.org all these links are in the description below so feel free to check out these tools to hopefully help you create more consistent designs and also manage it all for your projects with that said guys if you like this video make sure to gently smash the like button subscribe for the diehard fans and if you want more you should definitely check out this video and I'll see you in another video very soon. All right.